<laughs> I call this meeting of the Anchorage Assembly to order. Madam Clerk, will you please take a roll call? Yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Dunbar. Present. Mr. Croft. Present. Mr. Constant. Here. Mr. Dyson. Mr. Dyson. Here. Mr. Peterson. Present. Mr. Quinn Davidson. Present. Mr. Rivera. Present. Mr. Traney. Present. Mr. Weatherton. Here. You have a quorum. Thank you. Mr. Haberman, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> Thank you. All right, we have one order of business at this uh, special meeting. It is resolution 4A, resolution number AR 2018-300, a resolution of the Anchorage Municipal Assembly stating its protest regarding the new general wholesale liquor license number 5717 for Southern Glazers Wine and Spirits of Alaska, LLC, to be business as Southern Glazers of Alaska, located at 6300 6, Change Point Drive, Anchorage, AK, 99518, and authorizing the municipal clerk to take certain action. Who dare do this, Mr. Chairman? Second. Third. One third. Okay. So that has been introduced, and public hearing has been set for 10-9-2018. Is there any other action we need to take, Madam Clerk? No, Mr. Chairman. Okay, before we uh, adjourn, can we describe just briefly why we just, uh, <coughs> why this special meeting had to be called for this license? Um, yes, Mr. Chair, Odom Corp um, is moving its warehouse and um, Mr. Chudy, the um, Community and Economic Development Director, can probably help if you have questions about more details about that. They, um, in the process of moving their warehouse, they need two liquor licenses. One is for Odom Corp and the other one is for Southern Glazers. And um, apparently there was some delay for them in applying for their liquor license with AMCO. The clerk's office received this liquor license on September 12th. Our date for you to protest for 60 days was in November. But um, Odom Corp and Southern Blazers needed that liquor license sooner. So what will happen by this action, you've introduced it today for public hearing on the 9th, which is the same date as the Odom Corp, and then both of their liquor licenses will be married up on October 9th, and then they'll be able to open shortly after that is the goal for, for them if there is no um, for the protest, if all of the items and the departments have certified everything, but it'll give them an ability to open a little bit sooner than if we had followed the normal timeline. Has notice been provided or will be provided to the community councils? Um, notice has been provided to the community councils and uh, in, uh, and we're updating that notice. I might be getting mixed up with um, another liquor license that we've moved up a little bit. But yes, we are providing, we did provide them notice about the Odom Corp. We probably need to still provide notice on Southern Blazers. Okay, thank you. Any other further questions? Mr. Welton. Well, yes, so when I drive by there now, that huge warehouse, which is gorgeous and amazing, has all kinds of, it looks like it is busy. I mean, every single bay has a big truck. I mean, they are actively, He's in and out buying and selling their product. Uh, so, Chair, uh, so currently they distribute more than just alcohol, they distribute soft drinks as well. So, I'm probably seeing a lot of soda going in. Coming I in just out. see the trucks coming out, driving by. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of soda coming and going. Um, but the but the oversight, uh, the minor oversight, turned out to be a major oversight of getting the licenses transferred in such time that it syncs up with when they actually took occupancy of the building, and more importantly, need to vacate their other premises, which they've already leased up to someone else. Um, we kind of hit a roadblock. So that's that's the reason for uh, trying to get both licenses on the for public hearing at the same time, so that they can both be taken care of shortly thereafter. Mr. Okay, you want to follow up? And then we have Mr. Peterson, Mr. Traney. Just a small one. I think Southern Glazers ought to change their name. That's right. Mr. Peterson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. They might have called us themselves that because some of the owners are from places like Florida. 
that are actually Miami's about as far south as you can get. So uh, my question is, um, there, this is a new license. I, I thought we had maxed out on the liquor licenses in Anchorage and that the only way you got a new one was if you bought one from an existing person. Is, is that not the case? I do not know the answer to that, um, Mr. Peterson, through the chair, but I can check that for you if you'd like me to find out the answer for that. Okay, thank you. Mr. Treaty, in deference to my friend Mr. Constant, what's going to happen to their building when they move from where they're at now downtown out to here? What's their pl do you know what their plans are for their old building? So uh, I don't yet know the specific license or operation, but we have been told that one of the reasons for the imperative of this meeting and the timing is because they have new tenants prepared to come in. And so I cannot say who, what, where, when, and how, but that is the message I'm hearing. So I'm just concerned about a building that size going vacant yes. downtown. Believe me, I, I too am. Thanks, um, Mr. Chairman. But I don't have any specific knowledge of the operation, but I hear that they have a tenant. Okay. okay. Unless there are other specific questions, we'll move on to audience participation. Okay. We are now on audience participation. <laughs> Chair? Yes. Could you please note for the record, I believe. Oh, oh Mr. Dyson has joined Thank us. You. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, note for the record, Mr. Dyson has joined us, joined us a little while ago. Okay. Are anyone from the audience like to participate? No? Okay, with that, uh, I'm going can we get a motion to adjourn? So moved. We're adjourned.